Hey, it's me Rishikesh Kannan, popularly known as Rishi K. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon now to get the latest videos and get taken into our world of entertainment, culture, sport, business and current affairs. I told him that sir, I'll give my best, don't compromise and be okay with mediocrity because I don't want tomorrow someone to wake up and say, Are, you know, ladki hai, so she didn't play that cricket that well or she didn't hit that well. That will be heartbreaking for me later on. So might as well go through the grind right now. So we were both in for it, but when physically standing there for eight, eight, nine, nine hours, my bowlers are changing, but I had to keep standing there and keep hitting. Because we're not showing all matches. We're just showing her life in highlights, her matches in highlights. Yeah. So hitting, I used to just keep standing there and there'd be like different bowlers coming in, different people on the running end. But I was just standing here and just hitting. Okay, now cover drive. Okay, now straight drive. Okay, now just put a, hit a lot. Okay, now a square cut. So I used to be told on mic what all shots were needed and I had to just keep hitting those the whole day for 10 days non-stop. Rapsi, great to see you. You're looking a million bucks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you saw the film last night. What do you think? I am very bad judge of my own films. I've never been able to judge. I, all I can say is, is it a bad film? Uh, badly made film? Or it's not a badly made film? So that's all I can judge. And I never like my performances 100%. I'm always sitting and like, no, no, I could have done something else here. So I took out many such situations yet another time. Like in every film of mine. So, and then eventually I can tell you it's not a bad film and nor is it badly made. That's all I can Which tell you. Which means it's a terrific film. <laughs> <laughs> that you have to tell me after you all watch the film. Because that I can never guess. I don't know. I've really tried. I've tried to tell myself that you know how I feel, assess, do whatever. But no, I think I cannot. What is the most difficult stroke to hit? Is the Some people say it's a square cut. Square cut. Yeah. For me, square cut, yes. And uh, how long did it take you to kind of get to cinematic level with that? With that, it was it, it has always been a hit and a miss. So um, the days it came, it came like, matlab, back to back I could hit it. The days it did not come, I just spent hours and I didn't. Mm -hmm. So it was always very hit and miss and per day basis of assessment that will it come today or no. So I don't know why. I just, I don't know what the, how the cricketers feel, but for me, that ball just passing my eye line, I was too scared of it going away. So I used to just time it before I should. So I kept hitting it before I, before the exact right point, right? So that's how I kept getting it wrong for the most of the time. But yeah, the days it came, it just came. So I never understood that have I actually gotten it? Or it's just by luck or by chance. Well, then you only know when you practice it on daily basis, which obviously I can't after a point, right? So I only did it for a few months and then had to let it go for a while at least until I play next. And the heroes are always the ones who bowl at you or do throwdowns. So who was <laughs> doing that most of the time? <laughs> uh, well, actually, apart from my uh, teammates, the ones who actually played with me in the film as well, uh, Apart from them, they did a lot of those throwdowns for me. And then apart from that, Nushin did. Oh. The one who trained me to bat. Who is yeah. Mithali's very close friend. Very close friend. friend. Yeah, I also met Nushin. Uh, just before one India women's tour. And uh, uh, I had a wonderful conversation with her. I mean, the thing about these women cricketers, whether it's Mithali, whether it's Nushin, is that, you know, ghat ghat ka pani uh, yeah, I think yeah, because yeah. of their travel and this and that. Oh, and sports gives you another, another perspective. It's just wonderful talking to them. Yes, you know? yes. So, uh, to talk about the other members of the cast. I look at Brijendra Kalaji and I start laughing. Even if he's doing a serious role. And here he is as the boat Yeah, yeah he's doing only a serious role here. Na? So, it is an anti-casting of what you expect of Brijendra yeah. Kala. But he, being the actor, he is, he can pull off anything. So, be it him or be it Vijay Raz, I'm always very uh, intimidated around uh, these actors who I know in my head can pull off any character. So, um, I probably will not be as intimidated around the big stars many times. But these people, I know they can flip and change anything with a single tone. Uh, so, that really keeps me on my toes. And on hindsight, I actually enjoy acting with them because of that. Because you're so they're so good. You can look into their eyes and perform and you'll get the energy to bounce off from. So, that way it's good as well to act with these kind mm -hmm. of actors. So, I had very few... Um, Actors, I didn't have many actors to 
do many scenes with. Like Vijay Raj was there in couple of scenes. Then there was Brijinder Kala. Then there were like people who played my mom and dad who were like very few scenes. So I didn't really have anyone traveling with me through the film's entire journey because she was. You know, when she was growing up at home, then she was training in Hyderabad, then she was training in Delhi, then when she got selected, she was traveling and uh, playing. So there were like different people I had for different times in life and very few scenes with uh, co-actors. Traveled more with my teammates, who most of them actually are uh, cricketers, state level cricketers who are, who have acted with us in the film. And uh, are drills for playing an athlete different from drills that cricketers go through? I mean, the physical routine. Is yeah, there a change in the bit, drill? Yeah, uh. little bit, yeah. Because uh, there are certain different kind of strengths that need to be worked upon. Um, I was at my fittest best when I started training for Shabash Matu because I had just come out of Rashmi Rocket. So, uh, it was not like I lacked stamina or anything else. But, you know, say for example, a forearm strength of someone who's going to bat. And I was only batting so I did have trouble with my forearm in the beginning quite like for days and days days uh, to get rid of that lump that gets formed because your muscle is so tense of so non-stop batting for hours every day so that was and uh, even though I was so fit I still suffered that I never had a problem with my lower body because I've, I've been you know I, I was training for track and field right before that. So that was pretty fit. But there are certain kind of drills that we are not used to. They are more like technical turns. How a, basically everything that is related to a batter. How what kind of movement a batter would do. That uh, was different from what I had done before. I am very excited by the uh, audio in terms of the fact that I have heard Fateh mm. and uh, even the BGM apparently mm. is is very exciting is what mm. people who, who were there last night mm. were telling me. Mm. This is Salvage Audio Collective, yes. a bunch of new, yes. young, fresh minds. I'd like yes. you to comment on the music and the so BGM. So, the first time when I heard uh, the rough, rough cut, uh, when I saw the rough cut of the film, there were sequences, obviously because I've been a part of those sequences, I know what's going to happen in them. But they still gave me goosebumps and adrenaline rush in spite of knowing what's going to happen in those sequences. Purely, purely because of the audio track, that the BGM track that was put. And that was very unlike a usual film where you expect a regular pumping music. Something very beautifully different and goosebumpy about it at the same time. So I did like, I was like, okay, who did this? Because this is sounding very different. It's making me feel very different. And that's when I got to know these about these boys. Uh, and also, then later on, they composed Fateh. And then I got to know about... like I mean, I, when I had heard the BGM, I knew that they were capable of doing something very beautiful. But they created magic with Fateh, I felt. That sudden adrenaline that that song gives. And it comes right in the beginning of the film, the, uh, the, that song. So, it just puts the tempo of the film immediately high. It just gives you a dive, deep dive into the world immediately. It's not like a slow, mm, aram say you're getting into it. You just like jump into it because of that track, because it comes right in the beginning of the film. Uh, Srijit Dhan, what he's brought to the film, I, I saw a collection of some Satyajit Ray films that he had made, which I yeah. thought was was exceptional, Ray, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, but this is a totally different cup of tea. I mean, it's very non-Ray-like. It's hmm. it's uh, patriotic in a lot of ways. It's drama in a lot of ways. Talk to me about him and how you handle the story of of So, Shawar with Bidu. him, uh, we've been trying to work together since quite some time. I think since 2016. Since the time Pink happened, I think we've been like little off and on in all the touch. bomb directors wanted to work with you. <laughs> the three S that have happened to me Shujit, Shujoy and now Shujit yeah. and all from Bengal so uh, I hope the magic of the same sort continues uh, with this one as well uh, there's been a special good connect with the Bengali side because uh, gotten a lot of love from the audience there yeah. um, and obviously courtesy these wonderful directors I've gotten to work with um, so this one also like it's a very so he's very different from the other two but uh, you know, the, the human, the humanness that he brings into the, the, to make me play those, that character. Because I was out of my comfort zone of performance in terms of character sketch. I'm not as demure as uh, soft spoken or, you know, speaks little. Uh, I remember my first, the first reaction of my mom after she saw the movie last night was like, Tere, tu dialogue bahut kam hai, tere. So, I was like, mommy, it's on my biopic, it's Mithali's biopic, that's why. Yeah. Right. 
because she speaks very less she speaks to the point very yeah. little she is not over expressive as a person i am so for me it was always a challenge to balance between being true to her character and at the same time i only have two and a half hours to show her 20 years mm. so i want to make sure the audience understands what i'm feeling can't just keep it inside me all the time so we had this very thin line to tread in between um the the, the two i couldn't uh, disappoint the real fans and i had to project the real emotions uh, rightfully as well so it has he really helped me walk that line because you always feel like i have done enough or no so and i don't see monitors so it's i totally surrender to the director so he really helped me that but it was so i think the most challenging part of working with him was when i had to deal with the cricket fanatic in him because he is a task master where cricket is concerned first time first thing he told me was we will try and aim for single shots <laughs> so he's like i don't want to cut <laughs> so you, the, there's going to be you you're going to someone's going to bowl to you you're going to hit and you're going to keep it like a single shot because we we have these broadcast cameras so we have these professionals who sh- uh, shoot cricket so we wa- we'll try aim for single shots if it really doesn't happen then we'll go for the uh, we'll go for two shots but that's about it and the that's ex- pressure on you yeah that's too for much pressure for a non cricketer non cricketer yeah. never picked a bat in my life before that before this and we did that i remember the first day when we finished after 8 9 hours of shoot and it was blazing heat of october in mumbai and uh, i was like sir i can you please give me an hour to just sit and re- breathe and relax a little bit because he was at it to make sure i get everything right and also i had a, told him that sir i'll give my best don't compromise and be okay with mediocrity because i don't want tomorrow someone to wake up and say are you know ladki hai to she didn't play that cricket that well or she didn't hit that well that will be heartbreaking for me later on so might as well go through the grind right now so we were both in for it but when physically standing there for 8 8 9 9 hours my bowlers are changing but i had to keep standing there and keep hitting because we're not showing all matches we're just showing her life in highlights her matches in highlights yeah. so hitting i used to just keep standing there and there'd be like different bowlers coming in different people on the running end but i was just standing here and just hitting okay now cover drive okay now straight drive okay now just put a, hit a lot okay now a square cut so i used to be told on mic what all shots were needed and i had to just keep hitting those the whole day for 10 days non stop <laughs> So uh, yeah it was quite grilling to uh, convince him or make him happy uh, as a cricket fanatic and i used to wait hearing on that mic when he used to say good shot so i was like ah oh, yes and then he like no no mitali doesn't celebrate like that <laughs> <laughs> tapsi does mitali does it yeah i used to many times go out of character and finally got <laughs> the shot and i was like no 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 this is out of character i was like okay sorry <laughs> you know this is the cricket of it there's also the real life drama of it i mean you've worked in hyderabad so much mm. it's not so much the language but there is that cultural shift especially mm. for a tamil girl who mm. grew up in hyderabad to come into this team mm. uh, with so many different cultural elements mm. and to wrap your head around that i'd like to talk about of that of course it helps to know the cultural background because i have stayed there and worked there yeah friends there so yeah so and also uh, the but the, the thing is the first thing i asked mitali uh, when i met her uh, actually after shooting the film uh, was like i hope i mean I, i could hardly find her hindi interviews she hardly speaks in hindi yeah. so i was very we were all wary of the fact should we go with a little hyderabadi accent or Does she even have that? Because once or twice I've heard her very brief interviews in Hindi, and she doesn't really have an accent. So I was very curious: is it how, and, uh, and, and does she really have an accent of any sort that I should try? Then she spoke, and she told me that uh, because her introduction to Hindi happened uh, during her teens when she was in the camp and in Delhi. and she, and her hindi was mostly because of the other girls who played with her who came from different parts of the country so hence she doesn't really she never spoke hindi hindi as such in the house or while growing up or such so she doesn't really have an accent of that area because her learning of hindi was when she got she was in delhi and mm. because of the other cricketers around so that really made sense so when i saw her speaking in hindi i was like this is a very saaf 
मतलब न्यूट्रल शी डजन हैव अ ग्रेट वोकेबुलरी बट इट्स वेरी न्यूट्रल हिंदी सो वॉज लाइक ओके नाउ पीपल विल एक्सपेक्ट अ साउथ इंडियन तो शी हैज टू हैव एन एक्सेंट यू नो दैट टिपिकल क्लीशे थिंग नाउ हाउ डू आई रिकॉर्ड मिताज हिंदी एंड शो टू द वर्ल्ड एंड सी दैट दिस इज शी इज अ वेरी न्यूट्रल हिंदी सो दैट वॉज वन easy thing or a good thing for me that i didn't have to mimic a person because i f- i find it very weird i am not a mimicry artist i am an, an actor bring taps into it. yeah i, mean, I have to bleed point. a little bit of Maybe myself not in the cricket shorts yeah, but not otherwise, at all. yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but i have to. to and that's where i connected ideologically with her i know the kind of conservative family uh, a south indian family a, Tam- a tamilian family uh, she belongs to uh, where do they come from and how difficult it would have been so, and i'm playing her age from 16 17 years till 36 37 so i had to the way i talk to the way i look and my body language and confidence level needs to change from when i was 16 17 to when i was in 2017 world cup so that all that had to be like studied and changed and knowing her was through notions lens because i never had mitali because she was busy either in being in the bubble yeah. or playing a tournament or uh, in the camp for world cup so she was never really there to uh, interact but i guess with the limited amount she speaks i probably will anyway know more from people around her than her herself and i got to know a lot from notion that re- she really became my window to mitali it's like when i asked her i said what do you most love about tapsi she said i love listening to her <laughs> <laughs> she's so smart she's so smart <laughs> which is <laughs> this is lovely please give this movie a lot of love it's uh, on the life of vitali raj a total legend and it has my favorite actress tapsi thank you shabash mitra in theaters guys thank you very much thank you so much